In this episode, we are going to be taking a look into the Apple Watch Series 5 clone. Make sure you do not go anywhere. Hello to you and welcome to MMB Tech TV, helping you find affordable products faster. Now, if you haven't been here before, all you need to do, as always, is make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell so you do not miss anything. So in this episode today, we are going to be jumping in and taking a look into an Apple Watch Series 5 clone. Now, you may have seen in one of our episodes, we had a look at a Series 4, which is the IWO10, uh, whereas today we're going to be taking a look into this, which is the IWO11. So I've had it for about a week and a half. I've had a good look into it. I've done some tests. So what we're going to do, as always, is make sure we jump into the box, see what you get with it and take a good close look at the watch itself. So as always, if you have got any questions, let us know by getting them in the comments box below. So sit back, relax, subscribe, and let's jump in and take a look at the IWO11. So this is the box. I'm not gonna go much into that, but as you can see, you've got the uh, the watch logo just on there, uh, the IWO Samba series, as otherwise it's known. Uh, on the side, you've got Smartware Solution, uh, and then just the SM on there. So really simple packaging, kind of says exactly what it says on the tin but let's open it up and have a little look inside so what you get inside the box with it you get your usual kind of paperwork your instruction book which have clarified some issues that they had with the IWO 10 uh, so it's always worth having a read through of that when you do decide to pick one up now one thing they are doing with this at the moment if you pay for one of the watch straps with it you get a second one for free so in this one what i've done is because i've gotten for the black version there are quite a few colors out there uh, so it's definitely worth having a look on the website uh, but i went for a kind of what looks like it's this it's kind of a I think they call it pleather, where it's a, like a, a plastic leather. So it's great for um, if you're working and you're wearing something smart. So generally I've been wearing this kind of type um, of watch strap when I've been at work, but then you do get the main one inside here, which is the ones that you're kind of familiar with, with all the Apple products, which is this kind of uh, plasticky, uh, kind of I don't know how to describe it it's kind of like a plasticky feel uh, but the good thing with these you can get just normal replaceable bands so it, perhaps you may have had some Apple products before or you can even buy replica ones online as well you can pick them up and they fit in the watch directly which is always good so it's always a good start so you get two for the price of one on there we're going to come to the actual watch itself in just a second but inside the box as well uh, one little nice little thing with it is that it's magnetically charged as well so just usb on the end and then magnetically charged so it's not chi wireless charging which is one of the things i wanted to see um, in this upgrade but you still get this kind of magnet wireless charging thing as well uh, so because we've come for the main event you've come to see the watch itself not all the other bits that go with it uh, so let's move all this to one side Let's move all the straps to one side there and let's take a look inside itself. So already the first thing you're already greeted by is you can tell by the build quality. It is massively different in comparison to the I-0010. Um, this one is more of like a aluminium uh, metal uh, kind of feel. And I've got the, uh, the other model just here. So you can see already that this is like a plasticky uh, or it feels kind of I don't know, it doesn't look as good as already when you greeted by this. This already looks miles better. What I will do in a different video, I will do a comparison in between the two. So make sure you look out for that one. Um, but you can see from the outside there, you've got this metal, black metal rim. Uh, feels really sturdy and it's got a tiny bit of a weight to it as well, which makes it feel a bit more genuine. Uh, on the side, you've got your uh, wheel there. We'll find out if that turns in just a second. Uh, microphone, back button, uh, speaker grills just on the back there. On the top, uh, you've got this is where obviously where the uh, watch straps drop into. Uh, and then you've got your heart rate monitor just on the back there, which actually says there you can see watch sixth generation, uh, aluminium and all that kind of good stuff on there. Um, but the watch straps are really easy to fit as well. And just like the Apple ones, you've got the little pinch point just at the back. So all you would do is simply pop it in, they slide and click into place. 
and they're in. And that is literally how simple it is, which makes changing your watch strap really easy as well. So if you wanted to go from having this kind of from your kind of day and night mode, if you will, and then if you wanted to change it then to something a bit more comfortable, if you're going training or you're going in the gym, that kind of stuff, then you can always use uh, them ones there. But it is really simple and really sturdy as well. So let's powering it on. You press this side button just there. So there we go, it powers on. You can see it's got smartwatch, the typical kind of uh, graphic that you would normally see and straight into the watch face there now on the watch uh, on the actual watch itself you do get a small handful of really good watch faces um, let's all you do is long press and you're greeted by that and then all you would do is swipe to the side so this is the one that I had on the IW10 uh, let's go across so you've got your big white one there You've got your normal one there as well. You've got some other different ones which all have little different features on. Minnie Mouse makes a, an appearance. You've got this one, which is again is a very typical uh, kind of Apple one. But I generally go for this one. And the main reason for it is, is because on this one, I would have thought that the bezels would have been stretched out just a little bit more uh, than the previous model. But you can still see, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera there, um, but you can still see how there's still a bit of a chin at the bottom there, which it does annoy me a little bit, but not too much. That's why I generally use these kind of backgrounds where it's not as obvious and it just kind of blends in and as not as you kind of would normally expect. So to get into the main menu, you would swipe, and then you're greeted by the kind of very familiar Apple kind of, uh, the way they kind of their watches. Now, the good thing about this IWO 11 in comparison to the old one it is way more responsive it is faster there's no lag it literally doesn't jump around it's really quick very simple and really slick as well so uh, but let's jump in to see in some of the features that you do get that are on board here because I know there have been uh, you guys when we did originally when we got all the information through we had loads of questions as you can see just there um, there were loads of questions, so I will try and get through them in the review today. So uh, let's go through what you get on board the watch itself. So on board the watch, let's go to the top. So it does connect via Bluetooth only. It doesn't have a uh, SIM card, so it can't, you know, um, operate as a standalone unit. So you would normally press that button just there, and that would have some of your um, notifications in there if you didn't know where they were already. You've got your Bluetooth menu just there coming on to the little heart logo now some people have been asking about the bpm measure does it measure well yes is the is the answer it actually does it actually really really does i've done this with a test with this on its own and with a uh, heart rate monitor as well um, and they both come out and um, maybe one or two digits out but it's for a watch that just literally sits on your wrist and for the price that you're paying it does that job and it does it really really well which is not too bad so literally to do it you would literally hold on and it's measuring and you can pop it on your wrist and there we go so currently my blood pressure is 88 beats per minute which is not too bad i'm all right i'm happy with that uh coming over here you can measure your blood uh your blood oxygen uh levels on there um which is great if you're if you're kind of into your fitness which predominantly this is fitness heavy um, so it's, some people are quite interested in that uh, coming over this way uh, you can read your text messages when it's linked to your device so you can go in and read them and reply from them directly from here and it just uses the bluetooth uh, to send that message which is good um, coming over here you can uh, read your you know go through your contacts so and you can call them directly from here as well so you can that you can do calls and receive calls from here um, and of course it's got the speakers just on the side and the microphone as well so you can use this as a device without even getting your phone out your pocket uh, you can go for your call list and seeing if you had anybody on your call logs there now you do get a facebook option and that's only to receive your facebook notifications you can't go through your feed or you um, 
you know you can't go into depth on facebook you only just get um sally has left a message or someone has commented you can only get the basics on there really jumping over you have your whatsapp there whatsapp is the same principle it'll advise you that you've got a whatsapp message you'll get the first line uh, that's on there but then to read it properly um, you would need to get your device out um, to have a look but it's always good to have because if you're just having a quick look you know if it's from someone not particularly important you don't want to get your phone out you can just quick look and ignore it or if it's something that you want to reply back to then you can pull your phone out and have a good look but some of the main events on here are the sports modes it does track your steps uh, and it has a whole host um, of sport options so if you're quite sport heavy and looking for a decent watch that can do that then this is probably quite good for you because it does track all your fitness uh, so you've got your step count there and it's got your step log so you can see uh, on the <laughs> on the 9th, uh, I did 5,000 steps, um, but that's my fault because I didn't put my watch on until later on in the day. Um, but you just track them and you get your history on there. Now, the good thing about it is, is that it pairs to their app, uh, which they use on here. The, I think it's called the Leaf on Wear app. And on there, that will help you monitor and track your fitness and all the data that this collects. Um, goes onto that app so perhaps if you're measuring your steps your heart rate and um, if you walk and stuff all that information is collected and you can see it in a nice graph as well which is good uh, so apart from collecting your steps uh, you get your sleep time it monitors your sleep so if you wear your watch quite a lot um, it will track your sleep patterns to see when you had deep sleep when you was in a light sleep and your total overall sleep so perhaps if you're measuring that kind of factor that's always good to have. Um, I've been quite interested to see uh, my sleeping patterns. Sedentary reminders, you can set sedentary reminders on the watch. So if you are very much office based or you have to sit down quite a bit for work, I always set mine to ensure that every hour I stand up for 10 minutes just to exercise and get round when I'm at work. You get an alarm on there, which is always handy. Stopwatch, that's very typical on some of these kind of types of watches. Calculator. One good thing I do like about it, because it's connected via Bluetooth, you can indeed uh, control your camera just from the device itself. So you can literally press the button and it will control the camera shutter. So if you're doing a group shot, you want to set your phone off in a corner somewhere, you can literally just have that on there, press tap and it'll capture the image. Meaning if perhaps if you haven't got a timer on your device, uh, you can still use this, which is a nice little feature, which is really, really good. As you can see there, music, you can control the music on your phone. So if you are commuting, you've got your headphones in, you don't want to keep getting your phone out to change the track. Well, on here, you definitely can. So if you've got music on there, so you can go, you know, it's got all the commands. You can see it there. You can go forward, back, control your volume, pause and play as well and you can do that directly from here coming to the last few uh, so you have got a calendar on here i mentioned earlier on with the iwo 10 um, it would be nice to integrate google calendar into here unfortunately that hasn't come over yet so maybe something in the future hopefully it would be nice to, to have the google calendar on there to see uh, exactly what you've got coming up in the day if you've got any meetings you know that kind of stuff but uh, you never know maybe at some point in the future so moving on uh, as we go into this one you've got an anti-lost feature so if you lose your device you can press that and it'll set an alarm off on your device uh, if you've lost it particularly around the house or at work or in the car um, and it works vice versa as well so with the partner app if you lose your watch you can set that off and the watch will beep and make a noise helping you find it which is a uh, which is always good to have it's always handy as well especially if you lose stuff all the time uh, you got your weather so as you can see it does work i'm based here in manchester so you can see i've got the weather on there for the next few days into your settings tab so it's generally just like a normal settings tab you've got your bluetooth settings so going on there to your volume so you can control what the multimedia sound you ring your notifications you can control all of them individually um so you can have perhaps your ringtone quite loud but your notifications quite low um motion so you get two options here you can either have flip to mute uh incoming call so you literally twist your wrist and it would mute the call and you have a wake up gesture as well so uh, so you got menu change so instead of having that menu that you saw with all the icons on you can change it to menu two so if you're a bit more familiar with your you know if you prefer to have your you know your main screen like that you can change it to that now me personally uh I always prefer that one, but that's just that's just my preference. 
uh, international so you can change your language there is a abundance of uh, languages on there uh, something to suit everybody from every kind of country and then lastly at the bottom we've got two, these two final options just there you've got this one here which is the qr code that's required and um, if you want to scan the qr code and it'll take you to the layfunware app which is available on both ios and android uh, so it's definitely worth having a look there and your last one is your sports mode now there is a few sports modes on there so you can either have walking running cycling or climbing so if you're any of these kind of particular options say predominantly a lot of us are runners um, so i did a walk today oh there we go so you literally to get going hit play you can see there that the gps button is flashing that it does have gps and it does track uh, your location the gps is built into this now from my personal experience once you i would say once you get outside and you do tend i've struggled to get a bit of a gps signal it does pick up after say say if i've been outside for two minutes and um, then it will kind of pick it up but as always i go back to saying you have to remember it's just a watch so give it a bit of a benefit of the doubt the the gps is there it does track it so even in the lay where app you can track some of your routes that you've been on or it may work in partnership uh, with some of the particular apps that you, that you use for your fitness and you can track your routes and stuff so then if you tap the little buttons there as well it'll tell you exactly um what you did so we went walking there so today i went walking for nine minutes uh, and you see my average speed the pace and all that kind of stuff and that information will then carry over straight onto the lay Funware app the watch faces i am aware i have done a few episodes on changing watch faces on some particular other watch maker models on this range you cannot change the watch faces which is a shame so you can't if you go to a particular website and you found a watch face you like of course there is a, a video which i'll link just here um on how to change watch faces unfortunately that doesn't apply to this so it would have been really good if you could have been able to download some of the other watch faces and put them on because but even saying that the ones that are on there are quite good um but i tend to just i like that one that one's always my favorite one i do like that one so it would have been nice to have the chi wireless charger but it does dock and it docks just like that and that's absolutely fine so definitely go and have a look so for the price uh, i paid about i think it was about 60 65 pounds on aliexpress as always i'll put links in the description for you to go and check it out when you get a chance go and have a look it's definitely worth a look if you're into a apple watch series 5 but you can't quite afford the proper one and you want a clone this is the next best thing so please go and have a look go and check it out it's definitely a definitely worth the look overall i'm really really happy with it but of course here at mb tech tv we do have merchandise we've just started doing it uh, so there's some great t-shirts some great hoodies available on there and of course every time you purchase them it comes back into the channel to make sure that we can give back to you so i will leave that link in the description as well so go and have a look there's some brilliant t-shirts on there go and have a look uh, but uh, that is it from us for today i want to say a huge thank you to you for joining in and having a look as well and coming and joining us uh, if you have got any questions about the iwo 11 pro go and leave them comments in the box below as always we always love to hear from you so go and get involved go and have a chat uh, but thank you very much for joining us but until next time we'll see you then bye bye for now